Hello everyone, hope you are learning well. In this video, we will discuss the last problem of lead code weekly contest 316. It's a hard level problem. However, I think uh, it's relatively easier uh, as compared to the third problem that we got in the same contest. That was also a hard problem. I've created a video for the same. Uh, but yeah, this one is relatively easier to observe. So the problem name is uh, minimum number of operations to make array similar. So you are given two positive integer arrays, nums and targets of same length. Now in one operation, you can choose any two distinct indices i and j. Obviously, those those needs to be valid indices. So that is why it should be z between 0 to n minus 1. And what we can do is set nums of i equals to nums of i plus 2 and nums of j equals to nums of j minus 2. That means pick two any indices and sh uh, decrease the magnitude of one and decrease uh, and increase the magnitude of the other index right by two. OK. Now, two arrays are considered to be similar if the frequency of each element is the same, okay, in the in the two arrays. Now, return the minimum number of, number of operations required to make nums similar to target. The test cases are generated such that nums can always be similar to target, right? Uh, let's just see what it, it is trying to say and then we'll jump to the code, right? Uh, let me just go to the explanation. So, it says that you have two arrays. Suppose first one is 8, 12 and 6 and the second one is 2 14 and 10 this is target okay this is nums what we need to do we need to make these two arrays similar you can't change this one you can only change this one and how you can change it you can pick two elements like for example you pick 8 and 12 now what do you do in one operation uh, you can do 8 plus 2 and 12 minus 2 so this becomes 10 this becomes 10 right just taking a random example so this is an operation so what we need to do is we need to tell the minimum number of operations required to make num similar to target and what is about what's about similarity similarity means both the uh, so both the arrays should have the elements uh, each element should have the same frequency in both the arrays okay so like for example if i pick the first one so what what will happen so the first thing that i can do is uh, suppose i choose these two elements okay 8 and 6 okay so now what will happen what this will become so initially my array is 8 12 and 6 if i pick these two so it will become 10 okay this will remain yeah i have shifted two from here to here it becomes like this now okay now suppose i pick um, suppose i pick these two so then what will happen it will be remaining 10 suppose i transfer 2 from here to here so it becomes 14 and it becomes 2 now just see 10 14 2 10 14 2 so these two arrays are similar so total operations required were 2 first we transform into this one then we transform into this one right let's take one more example so suppose i have 1 2 and 5 this is the first array and suppose i take 4 1 and 3 right so what i can do right what i can do um, I can pick these two. Suppose I pick these two. So then what will happen? It will it will be something like 1, 2 is shifted from here to here. So it becomes 1, 4, 3. Just see, these two are similar. So just one operation was required. The, the third get test case is obviously 1, 1, 1. Suppose and you have target as 1, 1, 1. So obviously in this case 0. No operation is required, right? So just, just observe this question. Okay, what it is saying. So what you are doing? You are doing nums of i equals to nums of i plus 2 and then nums of j equals to nums of j minus 2 what does this mean this means that you are transferring two from one index to another okay so just just think about this suppose a number is even suppose a number is even and if, if you add or subtract two from it obviously this number will remain even right and suppose a number is odd if you subtract two from this number or add two from this number this will this will remain odd that means these two operations will not at all change the parity parity of the numbers present in the array right so that means in short what i can say is what what i can say is if there is an odd number in my nums array and there is an odd number in my target array right so or or forget about this let's take like this just just remove it yeah just remove it i if i deal with two elements two odd elements in my array suppose i and j okay suppose i deal with these two elements so i can transfer two from here to here or here to here and these two will again remain odd only okay so 
what i mean to say is if there is a odd number in my nums and there is a odd number in my target so i cannot change this number to this number i cannot change because if i add 2 or i subtract 2 i cannot change an odd number to sorry sorry it's an odd so you can change an odd number to an odd number by adding or subtracting two however if you want to change this odd to an even number you cannot do it that is not at all possible so that means an odd number in my numbers array right can be paired up with another odd number in my numbers array and then only i will be able to get a target odd number in my target array okay because if you if you consider even and odd so those two numbers will remain even and odd and suppose i want an odd number in my target array so that means i need to uh, consider odd numbers only right so what happens is what happens is this reduces a problem how this reduces a problem consider odd numbers as a separate bucket and consider even number as separate bucket so now what will happen just see here suppose you have separated odd and even numbers because this even number is nothing to do with odd numbers in your target array or or with these numbers right because whatever operation you do on even numbers that will remain even similar is the case with odd and you want the you want all the elements in nums array to be equal to target right so that means i need suppose there is a odd number that is missing in my nums array i so the, i so i i want that odd and odd, odd element how do i that go uh, that odd element i get that from another odd element in my same array right so that is why break this into two buckets odd and even now process this separately and this separately now what do you do just see here suppose you sort this array suppose you sort this array so what would happen suppose you get one three five something like this and and here you have something like five three um seven not seven basically but it has to be one so what i mean to say if you sort this right suppose you sort this array odd array and you sort the and you divide uh, you divide the odd elements in nums array and target as well okay because you want the, those comparisons so suppose you sort this array so what it will become a b c right and d e f this is odd array of nums this is odd array of target so just see obviously if this is the smallest odd element in nums and this is the smallest odd element in target so what will happen <coughs> sorry either i can add or subtract two from here to get the, this so if i add two suppose i want to add I, if i if i add I, if i do a plus two then i get d so from where will i get this two from c or b right i i want this two from any other element on my right hand side so what i can do is what what i mean to say is basically it is <laughs> it is equal to what what will be the number of operations in one operation you take two step so you just take you just subtract that how many steps do i need to convert a to d how many steps i need to convert it so that will be sort of uh, uh, something like uh, math dot abs of a minus d whatever is the difference between the steps divided by 2 this is the number of steps that i'll be needing to convert a to do d right now similarly maybe i'm adding a uh, maybe i'm adding some numbers to a to get d now for for the same thing i'll be subtracting some numbers from c or b to get f and e right so in that case what will happen you do math dot min sorry math dot abs again you do something like c minus f divided by 2 what i mean to say it make pairs i need to change a to d b to e c to f at some places i'll be adding some numbers uh, to a and at some places obviously to nullify it i'll be adding some numbers from b and c so what i mean to say just take the absolute value and divide it by 2 that this is the number of operations that you need to convert a to d b to c b to e and c to f now these are the total number of operations for odd you can do similarly for even now just consider one thing while you converted a to d so you picked two from some of the numbers on the right hand side so actually those numbers were also changing so that means the total number of number of operations will be whatever you got here divided by 2 because at one point of time you were changing two indices i and j to now to to make this as the final value i you were changing some j so this j has also changed to some of the target values possibly okay so the total number of operations will be uh, whatever you got here divided by 2 okay so i i hope you got a feel of this that 
we started that these were the two operations and the two operations tell us that the parity of the numbers will not change so that means consider odd numbers separately and even separately so create four basically sub arrays or list or whatever you call it four list with with uh, one one will have even number uh, one will have the even elements of nums array one will have the odd elements of nums array one will have the even elements of target array and odd elements of target array four arrays and then you basically do this stuff for uh, odd elements of nums and target and then even elements of nums and target because you will be tackling those elements together right so let me just show you the code so you can see here what i've done so either you can sort after making the list or before it that that won't make any difference right on line number three and four i've sorted the arrays and on line, line number five you see I, I have created four list odd nums even nums odd target even target now just fill those values so if nums of i mod 2 equals to 0 that means if it's a it's an even element add it into the even nums or add it into odd nums similarly for target on line number 14 if that is an even number add it to even target else add it to odd target now finally my answer equals to 0 on line number 21 what i do i traverse the odd numbers now the number of odd odd numbers in nums and target will obviously be same because you can change an odd number to odd you can only change an odd number to another odd number you can't change that into even number because the operations that are given in the problem don't allow you to do that okay so answer equals to answer plus mat dot abs of you just see here uh, odd nums dot get of i uh, minus odd target of get of i divided by two simple simple stuff similarly you do it for even numbers on line number 25 and 26 finally you, you return answer by two okay so yeah uh, the first thing on line number 23 and 26 why you divide by two because at every point of time what you are doing you are adding and deleting two numbers so that this two is for that and on line, line number 28 why is that two divided by two this is because actually one operation that you are doing is by default performing the other operation as well right if you are adding two into some element then by default two is two is being subtracted from some other element so their diff is their corresponding diff is changing right so yeah that's it for this problem uh, i hope you learned something new from this video do do support it by giving up a thumbs up do subscribe to the channel in case you have any queries do mention that into the comments i'll 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 revert on each one of them thank you take care bye bye